Diamonds are the most desirable and exquisite creations in nature. Natural diamonds are so rare that some are the most valuable assets on earth, based on weight, due to the intense conditions required for the genesis. Diamonds have a long tradition of being admired as elegant articles. Hey guys, welcome back to Luxury Tube. In today's video, we will tell you about where you can find diamonds. But before we dive in, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to our channel. Without further ado, let's get started. The majority of the world's natural gem quality diamonds get mined in countries where diamond jewelry is not widely worn. The United States, India, China, the European Union, Japan, Hong Kong and the Middle East are the top buyers of diamond jewelry. About 40% of the world's diamond jewelry gets consumed in the United States and the other areas listed together consume at least 40% of the world's diamond jewelry. None of these regions are significant suppliers of natural gem quality diamonds. The majority of the world's diamonds have been mined in Africa since the 1870s. Russia and Canada have experienced rapid growth in diamond production, diversifying the regional distribution of natural gem quality diamond production. For more than a decade, seven countries have led the world in gem quality diamond production. Russia, Botswana, Canada, Angola, South Africa, the Democratic Republic of the Congo and Namibia have consistently produced over 1 million carats per year. Their sales reflect their consistent success and supremacy. Aside from the primary producers, several countries produce less than 1 million carats per year, but regularly. Australia, Ghana, Guinea, Guyana, Lesotho, Sierra Leone, and Zimbabwe all produce more than 10,000 carats of gem quality diamond each year and have been for the past decade. Smaller mechanized mines or a large number of artisanal worker in alluvial deposits manufacture this production. Let's go through the list of countries that head the diamond trade in the world. Number 7. Australia In 1981, Australia began commercial production and rapidly became the world's leading producer of gem-quality diamonds. Output in Australia has dropped significantly in recent years due to the depletion of deposits and a lack of discoveries to replace them. In Western Australia, Rio Tinto opened the new Argyle underground diamond mine in 2013. Number 6. Namibia In 1908, a railroad worker discovered a small diamond in the desert sand and began mining in Namibia. This discovery sparked a diamond rush and a boom in alluvial diamond mining. The diamonds were strewn through large swaths of unconsolidated sand. In a way of miners devised testing and jigging equipment to quickly distinct diamonds from vast quantities of alluvial sediment. Following World War I, a new form of diamond deposit was discovered along the Atlantic coast – raised beach deposits. The screening and jigging equipment built for alluvial deposits could also be used to mine these deposits efficiently. Since their discovery, they have been mined continuously and they have produced the majority of Namibia's diamonds to date. They were weathered from their source rock in Africa's interiors, washed down rivers deposited in the Atlantic Ocean, and then borne along the African coast by waves and longshore currents. Because of their toughness and resilience, they endured the whole journey in excellent shape. Most of the diamond mining activity in Namibia is currently done by Namdeb Diamond Corporation, a partnership controlled in identical shares by the Republic of Namibia and the De Beers Group of Companies. Number 5. South Africa the current diamond industry can be traced its origin back to South Africa. The discovery happened in 1870s when mining started in several diamond pipes near Kimberley. Until then, almost all diamonds were extracted from unconsolidated sediments, primarily using artisanal methods. South Africa rapidly became the world's largest producer of gem-quality diamonds, a position it retained until the 1920s when the Democratic Republic of Congo's production growth won at the top diamond-producing country's title. South Africa has remained a reliable producer, producing a few million carats of gem-quality diamonds per year. Diamond pipes, which were first shoveled in 1800s, contribute to some of this production. They started as hand-digging in the soil and weathered rocks over a diamond shaft, progressed to open-pit mines that dug deep into the Kimberlet, and then went underground when open-pit mining became too expensive. 
Diamonds are still being mined in South Africa from alluvial deposits and pipes. Diamond mining is also practiced along the country's coastline. Erosion has been extracting diamonds from inland areas for millions of years, and rivers have taken them to the coast and deposited them alongside the shoreline sediments. These diamonds are currently being mined off South Africa and Namibia, where heavy longshore currents and wave action carried them. Number 4. Angola Angola's diamond mining started more than a century ago when it was still a Portuguese colony. The country's main alluvial deposits produced the first diamond shipped to Europe by Portuguese merchants. For more than a decade, Angola has been one of the world's leading diamond producers in terms of dollar value and production. Alluvial diamond mining will continue to be important in Angola. The discovery and production of many diamond pipes will make hard rock mining a significant contributor to its output. The Lukapa Diamond Company operates the Lulo Mine, which is of specific interest. It is an alluvial mine that produces some of the most extensive Type 2A diamonds in the world. Since there is very little nitrogen substituting for carbon in Type 2A diamonds crystal lattice, they are mostly colorless. Some Lulo-style 2A diamonds have a lovely pink color, one of the most common diamond colors. Number 3. Canada in the diamond industry, Canada has been an enormous surprise. Many of the world's most experienced diamond hunters struggle to locate gem-bearing diamond pipes penetrating the Canadian Shields rocks, despite geologists' best efforts. Two geologists, Chuck Phipp and Stuart Blossom, discovered evidence of diamond-bearing kimberlite pipes about 200 miles north of Yellowknife, Northwest Territories in 1991. Mining on the deposit started in 1998 after it was found to be economically viable. A slew of other mines soon followed, establishing Canada as one of the world's top diamond producers. Because of harsh mining conditions or ore bodies being sought out, some of Canada's mines have already closed. The country's status as the world's third-largest diamond producer, however, has not changed. The majority of Canada's mines are located in the far north, in rugged and frigid areas. Mines must also have all the requisite facilities to house and support their staff for several months at a time. Even in the face of these expensive obstacles, the miners have flourished. Number 2. Botswana Bulk sampling and indicator mineral mapping were used for the first time in Botswana to classify and distinguish diamond pipes over a vast and challenging geographic region. Diamond mining started in 1971 after exploration began in the 1950s. Botswana had some of the world's highest yielding mines by the mid-1980s, and this tiny nation was one of the world's largest diamond producers. Botswana has been the second leading manufacturer of diamonds in terms of a carat weight and the first in terms of volume for more than a decade. Decade. It retains this position because its average diamond size is more significant and of higher quality than what Russia produces. The joining mine in Botswana gets regarded as the world's richest diamond mine. Every year, the mine produces around 10 million carats of high-quality diamonds. The mine gets operated by Debswana, which is a joint venture between De Beers and the Botswana government, hence the name Debswana. Botswana's diamond industry is the country's most significant source of income. Diamonds account for roughly 60% of Botswana's exports and 25% of its gross domestic product. De Beers is in charge of exporting all of Botswana's rough diamonds, Gabron the country's capital and the most prominent region. It has established the world's most extensive diamond sorting and selling facility. Number 1. Russia Since the 18th century, diamonds have been discovered in Russia. The Mir Kimberlet line and its adjacent placer saw substantial development for the first time in 1957. Numerous diamondiferous lines and alluvial deposits have been discovered since then. The Mir and Yudaknea pipes in the Siberian Republic of Saka have produced most of Russia's diamonds. Russia is currently the world's leading producer of gem-quality diamonds based on carat weight and has been for more than a decade. Almost all the mines mined in Russia Russia get produced by Alrosa, a Russian mining conglomerate. Alrosa grades and sells rough diamonds to various polished diamond producers, most of which are based in Russia, Belgium, India, Israel, Hong Kong, and China. Long-term supply deals make the bulk of the company's sales, but it still makes one-time sales and develops new methods for selling in-line. Despite being the world's largest buyer of gem-quality diamonds, the United States has no commercial mines. The crater of Diamond State Park in Arkansas is the only place in the United States that currently produces gem-quality diamonds. Visitors can pay a small fee to prospect and keep any diamonds they find. The park can have a few hundred carats in a great year. That's all for today, folks. If you like our video, please don't forget to like and share and subscribe to our channel and press on the bell icon so you don't miss out on an update.
Also, let us know your favorite watch in the comment section down below. See you soon.